All right, you're welcome to the Pardon Show, and today we are privileged to have with us um, a pastor, and he is in the presence of uh, Pastor Eric Bwachi Iadom. He is also a lecturer of the University of Professional Studies, and he's mentored a lot of people, including myself. Tonight, he's here to be a big blessing to us. He's here going to talk to us about the message he's titled uh, "The Final Enlistment." The Final Enlistment. Say, you're welcome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right, so tonight, I'm pleased to be here. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. I welcome you to the Pardon Show. This is the Pardon Show. And um, uh, if you just tuned in, we have um, Pastor Eric Boachi Yadom with us, and he's here going to talk to us about the message. He is titled um, The Final Enlistment. This is a seasonal message, and it's good for such a time like this. Sir? Yes, call me. Yeah, so we want to talk about final enlistment. What is final enlistment about? When we say enlistment, before we go to the final, but what we, let's look at enlistment. When mm -hmm. we say enlistment, mm -hmm. it is a military word. That means to be recruited into the army. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when we say final enlistment, mm -hmm. it's like final recruitment into the army. Wow. <laughs> so generally, mm -hmm. to be enlisted, is the dream of everybody who are, who want to be part of the army. Wow. And and they, there is a strict criteria as to who qualifies to be enlisted. That's right. That's right. So basically enlistment needs to be recruited into the army. The army. And can we delve into the, the final uh, part of it? Great. Uh, we have started already, but since we are going deeper, I would want to say a, a, a word of prayer to okay. all of us. Right. And we just want to thank God. We bless you, Jesus, for okay. the opportunity yes. to be here. Yes, Lord. We yes, Lord. pray that God, wherever mm. our listeners are, mm. Holy mm. Spirit is dispatched to be with them. Amen. That will give them clarity of thought and understanding. Jesus name. Holy Spirit, touch my lips. Yes, that I'll speak words that are uplifting. I'll speak words that are encouraging. I'll speak words that are directional to your people. Right. That those that are confused and those that don't know where to turn to, mm, yeah. this word will be a light that will shine Amen. in their life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 That's an so, awesome prayer. Like I said earlier, mm -hmm. when we talk about enlistment, yeah. it means basically to be recruited into the army. To the army. Yeah. And I want to take you into scripture mm -hmm. in the book of Daniel chapter 1. In the book of Daniel chapter 1, mm -hmm. verses 1 down. The yeah. Bible says, in the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem, and besieged And the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand, with part of the vessels of the house of God, which he carried into the land of Shinar, to the house of his gods. And he brought the vessels into the treasure house of his gods. Mm -hmm. And the king spake unto Ashkenaz, the master of that his enoch, enoch that's right. that he be, he should bring certain of the children of israel yes. and of the king yes. Yes. and of the princess mm -hmm. so 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 the background of this whole story is that is that uh, nebuchadnezzar of babylon went to judah and he captured the city you know in those days kings were known for conquering mm -hmm. if you are a king you are known for the kingdoms you conquer so the king of Judah uh, was conquered by Nebuchadnezzar, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. And then and Nebuchadnezzar brought the people. You know, he he picked some young men, energetic people from from Judah to his kingdom. Yeah. And 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 this is, this is normal in military. When mm -hmm. you conquer, you pick slaves. That's right. <laughs> to wherever you want to take them to. And the slaves are for various purposes. You know, we can we can talk about uh, uh, the days of Adolf Hitler, the, mm -hmm. the days of uh, 
Mao Zedong of, of China and all the empires of, of old. Whenever they conquer, they take soldiers, they mm -hmm. take people, and they, they put them under slavery. Mm -hmm. So uh, the practice in the days of Nebuchadnezzar was the same in the days of Hitler, and even until now, that whenever you conquer, you need to take slaves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now, people are being taken slavery not war slaves, but there are different types of war. No, the wars have changed. The, 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 the dynamics of war in our modern yeah, days, yeah. it's not as it was. It mm -hmm. has changed a bit. Yeah. But then the rules mm -hmm. of engagement hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. It is the space of it that has changed. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when this conquering king, the book conquered Judah, mm -hmm. he, he, he requested that certain children of, of Israel should be brought to and, and he's, he's going to give specification as to, as to who is qualified to be brought to the king's house, to be brought in this case, to be enlisted in the house of Nebuchadnezzar. Hmm. So he said that, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel of and of the king's seed and of the princes, <laughs> and children in whom was not blemished, hmm. but hmm. were stated and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge right. and understanding signs mm -hmm. and such as I had ability, ability in them yeah. to stand yeah. in the and king's, king's palace, palace. Right. and whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of, of the, the child. Right. So, so let's take our time and look at the criteria. Mm -hmm. You see, the king, the conquering king of Bukadnezah said, I want to, I want to enlist Mm. Some people from Judah mm -hmm. into my army, in this case, into my palace. Preaching. But then they must be of a certain kind. A certain kind. Mm. They must be of a king's seed. It seems that they must be royal. Mm. They must be nobles. Mm. They must be of a certain integrity. Mm. They must be handsome. Mm. When you read the good news, you use that word. They must be handsome. Mm. They must be intelligent. That's right. They must be quick to learn. And they must be free from any physical defects. <laughs> now, when you read the book of Levit Leviticus chapter 21, mm -hmm. verses 16 and 17, there, there is also another kind of recruitment that happened in Leviticus 21. 21, that's right. I'm taking you from a point, then we'll put them together. Mm -hmm. In Leviticus 21, 16, 17, Bible says that, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron, saying, Whosoever he be of thy seed, in that generation that had any blemish, mm -hmm. let him not approach to offer, offer the, the bread, bread of his God. God. That's right. <laughs> now, in the whole of it, chapter 21, mm -hmm. God was giving the commandment towards the commandment to become a priest, to mm -hmm. be enlisted into the priesthood you must have certain characteristics. Hey. <laughs> but it summarize, Bible summarizes to be that the key characteristics is that the person must be with that blemish. Mm. Mm. Now, for you to be with that blemish means that you should, be, you should come from a certain seed. Mm. And God specified the seed you must come from. That you must be the seed of the Levite or the seed of Aaron. Because mm. it is Aaron that, is, that, that, that the priesthood was given to. Yes. Yeah. So, now, Nebuchadnezzar, having this full knowledge of mm -hmm. Leviticus chapter 21, mm -hmm. he too is coming to recruit people, people. into his service. Right. And the characteristic that God gave, that the person must blemish, mm -hmm. the person must have a certain seed, mm -hmm. the person must not have any physical defect. Nebuchadnezzar also outlined this. So there are two enlistments that have been served. Nebuchadnezzar being standing for, Nebuchadnezzar is one, one of the Tyrant of his time, mm -hmm. he was a wicked king, yeah. someone who could have lions at his pet. Mm -hmm. That when you misbehave, he can throw you to the lions. You know, someone who can have fire, burning fire, that when you misbehave, you put you into the fire. It mm -hmm. tells you the nature and the kind of person he is. He is that is right. a symbol of wickedness. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, it's, the, it's devilish in a certain way. Mm -hmm. So, the devil at the time, in the person of Nebuchadnezzar, yeah. is recruiting people. And his criteria of recruiting people is not different from the criteria that God uses to recruit people mm -hmm. in the book of Leviticus chapter 1, chapter 21, 21 yeah. 16 and 17. Yeah. So, 
it is confusing as to which which enlistment you should be or which recruitment you should be enlisted. Whether you will be enlisted to the to to Nebuchadnezzar or you'll be enlisted into priesthood. Mm. Are, are we mm. together? Mm. We are, we are. Mm. Now, mm. bringing it into a modern time, there is a kind of recruitment that is going on. Mm -hmm. For you to be recruited into, let's even take professional uh, in, in the world of business. Yeah. For you to be recruited, uh, especially in Africa, I, I heard someone say that uh, uh, in Africa, in, in Europe, for you to get a job, you must have a good TV. Yeah. But in Africa, you must know somebody. You should come <laughs> from a certain seed. You should have a certain seed. Yeah. You know, you must be intelligent. Yeah. You must be quick to learn. Mm. You must be free from physical defects. Mm. So even in a modern day mm -hmm. business field, mm -hmm. there is a kind of criteria you are supposed to you are supposed to meet for, before you will be recruited. Mm -hmm. Now, what what what, what am I driving at? If you do not take care, you will be confused. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Between doing responding to a recruitment that will lead to eternity mm -hmm. and responding to recruitment that will let you serve the things of this world. Mm -hmm. Now there is a recruitment going on. And possibly because we live in the end times and the last days, God is raising an army. Hmm. And the devil is also raising an army. An army. Hmm. But unfortunately, the requirements are almost similar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Jesus told us that you cannot serve God and Mama. Mm. Because that what qualifies you to serve God may also qualify you to serve Mama. the things of this world. Mm. <laughs> and it. one of them is that you must be intelligent. But you see, we use our intelligence to serve the things of this world. We don't use our intelligence to serve God. Mm. Mm. And the people who think they are intelligent don't see the, the, the essence of entering into priesthood or the essence of serving God with their mm -hmm. intelligence. Mm -hmm. yeah. if, if I've been winning souls and you go to houses to preach to people, mm -hmm. parents will allow you to talk to the one that they feel like is almost useless. And they will allow you to take that person to church. The one who is most educated or who is who the parents the parents see that he's most promising, we ask him to study, we ask him to go to school. <laughs> work. So the one that almost failed his ever, we ask him to go to Bible school. <laughs> because possibly that is the last escape for the person in life. <laughs> so we use our intelligence to serve Nebuchadnezzar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you see, when you read that one in the book of uh, uh, Daniel, Daniel yeah. in the book of Daniel, verse yeah. 5, mm -hmm. the, the king said that when you get this, when you recruit these people, you must retrain them. Mm -hmm. So in, in Daniel 1 5, he said that, and the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat and of the wine which he drank to nourish them three years, that at the end thereof, they might stand before the king. Yeah. The people were recruited so that they would teach them the teachings of the Chaldeans. Mm -hmm. Why are they going to teach them? They are teaching them to forget about what they know. Remember yeah. where they are coming from. These people are, are Jewish or they are, they are from Judah. Mm -hmm. And they are accustomed to a certain teaching. Mm -hmm. So Nebuchadnezzar is coming to retrain them for them to unlearn the things that they have learned. Mm, 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 mm. They want to let them forget the laws of Moses. Mm. Now, by teaching, we contaminate people. Yeah. yeah. So the world system introduces teachings to people. And it makes sense. It's, it is appealing to the mind. It's like an upgrade. It's like it is classy. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, they present a certain teaching which conflicts with the word of God. Of God, and, that's right. And if you don't have strong stance, you accept that teaching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that you can forget what you know. Yeah. Then the second thing is that he said they, will, they are going to serve them with the king's meat and the, and they will drink from the king's table. Mm -hmm. What are they going to do? They are training their appetite mm -hmm. to like certain things. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Your, because your appetite is your trap and the things that you have appetite for they are the things that can destroy you or mm. they can make you mm. you see every appetite can lead, can lead to addiction mm-hmm. yeah. yeah so, so yeah. when you read the scripture in some, uh, Daniel chapter 1 verse 5 there it, it looks like a normal oh you are going to it's like an elevation you are going yeah. to eat from the king's table and all that you know it, it, it sounds so nice Hmm. But but Daniel did something. Daniel did something. Hmm. Now among these were of the children of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Michelle, and Azariah. Unto whom unto whom the prince of the Enoch gave name, for he gave unto Daniel the name Bethesda, and to Hananiah of Shadrach and of verse eight. But Daniel purpose in him in his heart mm. that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king's meat, mm-hmm. nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the prince of the enough that he might not defile yeah, himself. How, how come just eating food? How can it defile you? Mm-hmm. Just drinking from the king's meat, king's table. It's an elevation. Possibly, possibly you were not used to that kind of life, but the king is going to nourish you, give you something to eat for about three years. Hmm. Three years, but from Daniel's response to this promotion, he realized it is a trap because they were training his appetite to be addicted to something. Yeah, yeah. So he decided to constrain himself. Now the question is, mm-hmm. what have you been addicted to? Mm. What are your appetites? Mm. What have you trained your appetite to like that mm. you cannot restrain yourself from? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your mm-hmm. appetite tells you your obsession. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Addictions are the fastest route to be enlisted by the prince of this world. Mm. 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 Your obsession to money, obsession to popularity, obsession to women, obsession to sex, obsession to marriage. Mm-hmm. Obsession to material things. Preach it, sir. Make you a good candidate. To be enlisted by the devil, mm. Yeah. Mm. and 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 this is the problem of many young people of our time. Mm. The the obsession to money yeah. that they want to get rich by all by any means possible. Any means possible. They want to be popular, so they don't mind to stand on social media and naked themselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Obsession for women, obsession to sex. You are so upset because you are up it and, and, no, and the obsession starts from stuff. It, it starts from the stage yeah. where, where where your appetite is being trained mm-hmm. towards a particular thing. Mm-hmm. And now, so appetite is being trained, you become addicted to it. That's right. That's right. That's it. That's it. That's it. So Daniel saw this. It looks so subtle that you may not see it. Mm-hmm. It looks so subtle that it can it can it can kill you. You can even call it an elevation. <laughs> like people are so crazy about popularity being famous that they, they, they are prepared to break every rule and protocol just to be popular. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If, if it takes them standing naked on social media, they are prepared to do mm-hmm. obsession to popularity, to be famous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is obsession to money that has caused a lot of people to go for black magic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Obsession to money. Obsession. obsession so the earlier we realize this obsession the better that we will need to change the things that we've been addicted to that's right so when you jesus said something said the prince of this word coming and he has nothing in me, me the prince of this word coming what it means is that jesus has trained his appetite such that when the devil look at him there is no point of contact mm. Because before the devil can manipulate your life, he finds a point of contact. That's right. And by the way, the greatest enemy or the greatest demon in the world mm-hmm. is ourselves. Mm-hmm. 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 Even praying against somebody, the first, the first person we need to bind is ourselves. <laughs> because the devil uses, you will use yourself to destroy yourself. Mm. The, there is this movie. Uh, the, uh, there's this movie about self weapon mm-hmm. that when they want to destroy you, you are the weapon to kill yourself. 
Wow. <laughs> to have a weapon, they will not bring guns from anywhere. Mm. It will be manipulated in a way that you will kill yourself. You will kill yourself. Mm. So if Jesus should say that the prince of this world, but he has nothing, that like Jesus has examined himself, that there's no point of contact that mm. the devil can use. So if you don't take your addiction now, your addiction will be the point of contact for the devil to enter into your life. Mm. So the basic question is, what are my addictions? What are my addictions? Hmm. What are my addictions? Hmm. Addiction to women. Proverbs chapter 31. Give not thy strength unto a woman, nor hmm. thy ways to that who destroy king. Yeah. It is not for kings, O oh, Lamor. It is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink. The man Daniel knew this. Hmm. That when you drink wine and you and you are happy, happy you Daniel and his colleagues, they knew this by drinking, by drinking by from drinking. the yeah. best man, they will forget the Lord. So, so we must train our appetite such that we will not succumb to the pressures of this world. That's right. In Ephesians 5 18, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. do not be hungry when it is effort. But be filled with the spirit. But be filled with the spirit. So, so Daniel and his colleagues knew this. Mm, mm, mm. That is why they decided not to defy himself. Mm. But in your case, or in our case, it may not be a spirit wine, mm-hmm. but it could be anything you are addicted to. Anything you are addicted to. Mm. Mm. Anything you are addicted to. Anything that upsets you, obsession means that you have, you have been possessed by something. Mm. <laughs> because obsession are the things that steal your mind from reasoning. It steal your mind from reasoning and questioning. You see, it was Abraham's obsession for children. It made him not to question Sarah's suggestion to go and sleep with the maid. Yeah. It made him not to question. Yeah. He, he was not desperate for a child. Mm. And now we can see the problem in our world that. Mm. Abraham obsession for a child has created for us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The war in the Middle East that you don't seem to be ending. It was because of Abraham obsession for a child. It mm-hmm. it prevented his mind from reasoning. Because Abraham is a righteous and that under normal circumstances, he will he will not batch to the suggestion of Sarah. Yeah. But obsession, obsession blocks your mind from reasoning. Mm. Obsession. It was Esau's appetite. It is appetite for being still that made him to give up his death right. Hmm. His appetite. He couldn't train his appetite to restrain from the things that he loved. The guy loved being still that he, he said, what, what need it is that I am, I am being perished with hunger and you're talking about death right. He trivialized it because of his appetite for being still. Hmm. Hmm. Preach it. Preach it. David love for fair women, nice women. Maybe they had to climb every mountain to kill Uriah to take Bathsheba. <laughs> climb every mountain. Every mountain. Set trap for him. Go and go and lie in your house. The guy will not go and lie in your house. He made him drink. He drank. The guy would just go. And now he sent his death warrant by his own hand. Mm. And Uriah was killed. Mm. Obsessed. Because action for me. It was Saul's love for power and spiritism that made him to start consulting should say. Mm-hmm. 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 was so passionate about money. Hmm. Money. When the, 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 uh, remember when the woman came to pour the alabaster bus, yeah. Judas was there complaining that yeah. this oil could have been sold and it would be used to feed the poor. I think yeah. he thinks about the poor yeah. because when they sell and they bring the money, this guy will pocket some. He was pretending and looking mm-hmm. as if he cares about the mm-hmm. poor, but the process was searching for money mm-hmm. and now he wanted the bigger bed, bed. So he went and bet on Jesus and he stole mm-hmm. Jesus. Obsession. You see, we should not think that we should not just think that that was destined by any means to betray Jesus. No. <laughs> you see, we, we have we have come to think about you know in the book of Romans, that book of power for whom he predestined, you know, in all those predestination things and we talked about the fact that certain things are meant to be. It is true certain things are meant to be, but then 
God has the real power to decide on what should happen and what should not happen. Happen, yeah. When the enemy came in, when the devil came in to look among the disciples, mm-hmm. who is felt out to accomplish my goal of killing Jesus, he found the local to be killed. Judas obsession for money made him a usable. The devil enlisted Judas to betray Jesus Christ because this guy had an appetite, appetite. for money. Hey, hey, preach it, preach it. <laughs> he had appetite for money. Appetite, obsession. 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 An obsession will make you a good candidate to be used by the devil. Session will make him Paul make him. had a disciple that we travel with a friend, and she said his name is Demas. Mm-hmm. Demas. Demas, Demas, yeah. For yeah. Demas has forsaken him, having loved this present world, yeah. and is departed unto Thessalonica. Yeah. yeah. Addition. Yeah. yeah. Demas was working in the ministry, he was going with going about with Paul in the ministry. He was following Paul. There are some of the letters that Paul will write. He said, Demas, my fellow laborer, he greets you. He will send letters, you know, bearing the name of Demas, who was a hard worker, hard follower. Mm. 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 He was following Paul in all his journeys, going and moving around. When you read Colossians 4 14, look, the devil is written, and Demas greets you. So in Colossians, this guy was around working. But in Second Timothy chapter four verse ten, he mm-hmm. said, "For demons have forsaken me, mm. Mm. having loved this present world, mm. his obsession for materiality mm. made him not to be enlisted as a priest in the ministry. His obsession for money, his, his obsession to clubbing, clubbing, his obsession to to test this world made him to depart from the ministry. Mm. Obsession, obsession." Addiction, addictions are the highest form of demons mm-hmm. that can destroy quicker than any form of dark powers. Mm, mm, mm. Sir, so repeat it. Take it again. Addiction. Addictions mm-hmm. are the highest form of demons mm-hmm. that destroy quicker than any form of dark powers. Mm-hmm. 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 Addiction. Addiction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are you addicted to? Mm. What are your obsessions? Because, like I said earlier, addictions are points of contact for the enemy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. If they are still in your life, no matter how far you go, the devil is not worried. He knows you'll be back. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he knows yeah. you'll be back. He just plant a seed. Hmm. He just plant a seed. You can go to the highest point in ministry. There is a guy called uh, Charles Templeton. Okay. Chuck, his actual name is Chuck Templeton. Okay. In the days of uh, the American evangelist who died, I think last year, mm-hmm. Graham. B- Bill Graham, yeah. Bill Graham. Yeah. There were three anointed evangelists. Mm-hmm. Bill Graham was the least among them. We have one Clifford and Charles Templeton. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They were so anointed in their days that at, in their early 20s, 24, 25, world leaders called them to listen to them. And they had, they were, in those days, they preached to more people and uh, universities would close down just to listen to them. Hmm. So powerful anointed. Nobody even knew in those days about Billy Graham. Billy Graham. Yeah. It was John Clifford and Charles Templeton. But currently, in this our generation, nobody knows about them any longer. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. Templeton left the ministry and he became an atheist and started contradicting wow. and preaching against the things he has preached for before. Wow. Wow. A world evangelist at a younger age hmm. entered into a school to study and through his study, he he began to denounce the identity of Christ. Hmm. 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 His hmm. affection for knowledge made him to renounce Christ. Hmm. 
Mm. And he died a pauper and a drunker. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. So, if there's an addiction in your life, no matter how far you go, the devil is not worried. He will give you the rope mm -hmm. because the rope has an end. It will pull you back. Mm -hmm. Do you remember a scripture in the Bible where Jesus sent his disciples to go and untie Mm -hmm. A cord tied to a tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is a perfect description of addiction. Mm -hmm. wow. So far, that cord or that donkey was tied to the rope to the tree. Mm -hmm. It can only go as far as the rope will allow it. Hey, 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 hey. So Jesus told them that go and untie, go and take this guy from the addiction. That and if any man asks you, why are you releasing him from the addiction? Tell him that oh. the Lord has need of him. The Lord has need of somebody. I good news for you tonight, that no matter what you are, the addiction that you are wallowing in, things that you cannot break out from. So far as Jesus Christ sent his disciples to untie the, the donkey on the tree, I pray and I decree over your life tonight that there is a death message you from addiction because the Lord has need of you. What does that mean? The Lord is enlisting you for the final battle. You are qualified to be enlisted in this final end time. You are part of the soldiers that are going to work for Christ. You are part of the people that God needs. So no matter how far you've gone, no matter how deep you have gone, the grace of God can reach. The Bible said that God it reaches the highest mountain. The blood it flows through the lower Valley, mm -hmm. that you can reach the deepest part of the sea. No matter the affliction you are falling in, what that sexual conviction, what that drunkenness, the power of God is available. Even on this airway, it is rich in your life that the Lord has need of you. I request that you be enticed in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you have come, the affliction to social media, affliction to pornography, affliction to masturbation, the Lord has need of you. I release the word over your life that wherever, wherever you have gone, wherever you have been, the power of God is reaching you. That addiction that you cannot consecrate your life and focus on the ministry and focus on the way that I will say that Jesus said, go ahead on time. Then go to the village. Open to you. There is a donkey tied to a tree. It means that it Jesus can mm. tell the mm. address of a donkey. Mm. Jesus knows your address. Wherever you are, there's a release of an angel to your location. There is a release of power to your location. Jesus has not forgotten you. You have cried and wept and thought that how, how long will this thing continue? You have a heart for the ministry. You have the heart for the ministry. But your love for this world is overriding your consciousness for the ministry. But the way the power of God is available, the same way that donkey was untied, to make you have been untied, untied in the name of Jesus, I will lose power over your life. Jesus. Jesus' name. That you are untied. Amen. Finally, finally, finally. Genesis chapter 27. Genesis chapter 27. Genesis chapter 27. When Esau sold his dead right for his appetite, mm -hmm. something happened. Genesis 27, verse 39. Mm. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, mm. Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, mm -hmm. and of the dew of the heaven from above, mm -hmm. and by thy sword shalt thou live. Right and shall serve thy brother. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have dominion, thou shalt break his yoke, thou shalt break the addiction from mm -hmm. off thy shoulder. Mm -hmm. Now, this is Esau who has sold his death right because of his addiction and his obsession. And he went and pursued his father that Daddy, haven't you got any little blessing left for me? Left for me. His father told him that I have already placed your younger brother ahead of you. 
But it shall come to pass that when you shall have dominion, you will break off the yoke. You will break off the addiction. And you will be able to lose yourself. And you can become whatever you want to become. The word is when you shall have dominion. When you shall have by dominion. your faith, you cannot overcome the addiction. That's right. Mm. Mm. That is why sometimes some people will say, I have surrender, I won't do it again. And then I will do it one more time. Mm -hmm. Give me this last opportunity, then to go and then mess up again. <sighs> you have not received dominion. That is why you. So I almost said, I want to stop sinning before I can follow the ministry. You mm. can't stop sinning by yourself. Mm. Mm. You cannot. Mm. You need power. Mm. And tonight, the power of God is available. In the name of Jesus. Break that yoke of addiction. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. To lose you from that chains of addiction. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The priest mm. must be blemish. Mm. 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 The devil is also recruiting you. But I release the power of God over your life. Amen. That you will not be a tool in the hands of the devil. Amen. But then you will be a tool in the hands of God. Wow. Receive grace mm. and receive power mm. in the name of Jesus. The first step towards breaking addiction mm -hmm. and to be enlisted mm -hmm. is responding to the call of God. Wow. That's right. That's right. Responding to the call. Paul was addicted to knowledge. Mm -hmm. His addiction to knowledge made him to persecute Christ and his followers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Until he overcame the addiction, he wasn't useful in the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Just as Paul met Jesus Christ on the, on the way of Damascus. Damascus. Tonight, there is a light that is shining in the room, in the car, wherever you are. That's right. And that light is breaking you and losing yeah, you from right. that addiction. That's right. It is an invitation to receive Jesus Christ. Mm. It's an in invitation to turn around. Mm. It's mm. an invitation to mm. give all your burden to Christ. To mm. tell him that I have tried doing it my own way. Mm. You see, when you tie a goat to a tree, he will try, it will try as much as possible to break off of the rope, mm -hmm. but most of them, they are unable to break. They are unable. Mm, they are unable. Because the rope is stronger than their neck. Mm -hmm. They don't have the dominion to break off from that rope. That's right. But Christ has the power to lose you. Christ has the power. Mm. Christ has, has the power to lose you. That's right. If you listen to me wherever you are, as I bring my message to an end, mm. and you have not accepted Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior, mm. I want to give that opportunity. That's right. That's right. To give your life to Christ. Yeah. Yeah. To surrender yeah. to Him, to turn around, mm. to say, and let me yes, Lord. write my name. Write my name. Mm. On this sheet. On this the sheet that leads to eternal life. Is to eternal life and lift me Close as an me. army for the same time. That's right. And lift me. And lift me. And lift, and lift me. me. And lift me. Because I see God mm. raising an army mm. according to Job chapter 2. Mm. Says one that was there as there's an army that God is raising. And that is the last army. Mm. And the world will end. Forced to be part of this army. You cannot be part of this army unless you have you come from a certain seed. Now the seed of enlistment is not the seed of Aaron, but it's the seed of Christ. Mm -hmm. That is why you must have a connection with that seed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I want to pray a prayer with you. So that you can have a covenant with that seed. Mm. And most of it, you see to be enlisted into the kingdom of God, it looks so easy in the kingdom of uh, uh, in, in, in Christianity. Yeah. Because if you ask the Buddhist, how can I be saved? You say follow the follow the Nirvana, the eight foot path. Do this, do that. The the karma. You will die. You will come back and you repay your death. And it's like mm -hmm. a whole mystical thing. You have to die and come back and be repaying your death. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You ask Muslim, how can what can I do to be saved? Then you have to let your your good exceed your evil. 
So you have to keep, keep, keep record of your good and your evil. But you have to Christian. How can I have how can I be saved? Just believe. Just believe. And we trigger out of it. Just believe. It's just not by your way. You don't have to, you don't have to let your good out the way you are. Just believe. Just believe. That's the first step. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 10. I'm going to have to believe. The mark of confession is confession to confess to me that the Lord Jesus Christ mm. is my Lord and my Savior. He died for me. He said, Many have believed in Him. To them gave Him from the sons of God. John That's chapter right. 1, verse 12. That's right. That's right. I'm giving opportunity. Mm. If you really want you to pray this prayer with me, mm. Mm. you want to say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I thank you for tonight. I thank you for tonight. I thank you for the opportunity to hear your word. I thank you for the opportunity to hear your word. Your word has made me understood tonight that I'm a sinner. That I'm a sinner. And I'm not qualified to be enlisted. And I'm not qualified to be enlisted. In your army. In your army. Tonight. Tonight. I accept you. I accept you. As my Lord. As my Lord. And my Savior. And my Savior. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my sins. In the book of life. In the book of life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I surrender. I surrender. To be enlisted. To be enlisted. In your kingdom. In your kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 If you pray this prayer with me, your life has transformed, you have changed, you have been, your name is written in the book of life. Mm. I pray that your feet is planted on a rock, mm. that you never return to your abduction. Mm. You've been loose from the grip and the chains of abduction. Go and live as a soldier of Christ. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wow. Wow. What a power night. This is a power night. This is a power night. Like I told you earlier, indeed, I think that um, uh, considering all my parting shows, this has been an extra. Oh, Pastor, God bless you so much for being God a bless blessing. You. God bless you. God bless you. Um, so, um, the last question before you go. So, if I want to get in touch with you, um, how do I get in touch, sir? Uh, yes, you can. You can leave a message on zero two seven three five six one zero eight two. Zero two seven three five six one zero eight two. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Pastor, God bless you so much for being a blessing to us tonight. You did not only teach us um, what our problem is; you also gave us a remedy to the problem obsession obsession and i believe that tonight someone has been broken free from ob- obsession obsession say so god bless you so much i think uh, my listeners will agree with me to um, have you back soon enough to you know to talk to us more about a lot of things in in, in christian fraternity so i'll be grateful sure 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 so we'll be, we'll be more